This is tutorial number 182. In this tutorial, we will talk about the next section or the next command, the parting lines. And it is different than the parting line analysis. And we will talk about them and we will see how to insert the parting lines in two cases. The first case is the mobile cover where the product in one block. And the second example will be the face where the product is laying between two blocks, small blocks. And then we will have a look at some parting line issues and how to solve them and how to select the edges and have a look again at the mold folder and how it changed. So here we have the mobile cover, which we made in one of the previous tutorials and we perform a parting line analysis. The parting line analysis will give you a preview where the parting line will be located. We run the parting line analysis for this mobile cover and we selected the top plane as the direction of pole, but we didn't see any parting line. So this is not an issue because SolidWorks consider this product or this part will be included in the first block of the mold. So the parting line will be on the edge over there. So now we can select the parting line which insert the actual or the real parting line for our mold. So click on the parting line and here you get the options. So the direction of pole is the top plane. But before we inserting the parting line, we need to insert the mold folder, which we said about in the previous tutorial. Click on the insert mold folder. And here we have the insert or the mold folder. So now after selecting the insert mode folder, pick the parting line, the direction of pole is the top lane. And then the draft angle, which we said about it in the draft analysis tutorial. As you, as you remember, we already performed a draft analysis and it is ready for this process. So we said we pick it half degree and then here you can perform a draft analysis one more time. As you notice, we don't have any issues with this product because we already performed the draft analysis before. And if you notice the parting line, which are the edges selected automatically over here, and you can see them in purple over there. If you have a look to the edge, you can see the parting line, which we couldn't see in the parting line analysis. So this is the place of the parting line. And when you are done, and about the colors, we already talked about them in the draft analysis tutorial. And here is no need for splitting the faces because the parting line on the edge. And we will have a case in the next example where we need to use the split faces. And when you are done, click OK. So now we have the parting line and we know that the top part of this product will be laying on the upper half of the mold or the in one block of the mold. And here what I mean, as we said in the tutorial before, when we showed you this picture, the mobile cover will be laying on, let's say, the left side of the block. And the parting line will be you can imagine over there. And if you look to the feature trees, you will see the parting line option is over there and you can edit it any time. 
So now we'll let's have a look at the next example, the phase where the product will be laying between two blocks. So we have the to insert the mold further and then go to the parting line and select the direction of pole. The direction of pole is the front plane and let's say one degree draft or let's make it zero in this case this is only an example just to avoid seeing faces that they need draft and let's run a draft analysis you will see that there is no any parting line is selected so in this case you need to use split faces and then you are able to select the parting line select over there and over there click ok we already knew that the parting line should be laying over there because we run the parting line analysis before but as you notice we have a parting line warning that not all the parting line are selected if we edit again here you are not able to select any parting line on the top side or on the but on the button you can select this edge click ok but still you are not able to select on the top over there so i'm going to delete this parting line and see how we can solve it so delete and here we have affiliate I would suppress this feature and suppress the dome under there or down there but we can make it a bit easier but still you can have them and split them as well and here we will try to insert the parting line again front plane, draft analysis and split faces and this time you don't see any line or any edge to select in the bottom so exit from here and we will start a sketch on this face and draw a line parallel to the front plane Make sure that it is covering or exceeding the product and go to the mold tools and split line feature which we talked about and here it comes handy so here is the current sketch and faces to split this face and this face click ok so now we have to split it faces hide this line or the sketch and run the parting line analysis one more time and pick the front plane run the draft analysis split faces and now we are able to select this edge and this edge and here we have the top edge and in the bottom edge and when you are done click ok and here we have the parting line is working or showing without any warnings and here if we go back to the mold folders and have a look you will see that the cavity surface body we have one body and the core surface body is again another body so you can see that the cavity body is the green one and the core body is the red over there so you can 
imagine that one side is one block and the other side on the second block 